What's up, YouTube? This is MathWiz97, and welcome back to my SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager mode. And like I said in the last episode, I'm, I gotta reset morale. It takes a week to take effect, so it won't be there immediately, but... Oof, this is little, 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 little ridiculous. MVP wants a world title shot. I mean, a lot of these guys want title shots, even though I just gave them one, because they think they should be in world title contention, but they don't really deserve it. So just this once, I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. Uh, there was also an idea that was tossed around, maybe perhaps having John Cena, you know, use one of those R&R &R slots on John Cena to intentionally lower his popularity, and uh, that'll knock him out of the world title contention. That could definitely work. Um, it all depends, I guess, on who I'd want to trade Cena out for. If having the higher popularity would be a good thing. Hmm. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Because right now, I know all the rivalries just got screwed up. So that's unfortunate. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Most of them got messed up by the stupid elimination chamber. Because they're all in the match, but somehow kills the rivalries. I don't get it. I really don't get it. This game has not aged well. Ugh. And then, of course, Snitsky last episode destroyed CM Punk, but in the process broke his hand, so he's out of action for six weeks. Uh, but as you can see, I put some of the rivalries back together. Obviously, this one's got to keep going, because I had long-term plans for that, and it got ruined, so we got to keep doing that. Otherwise, uh, most of these guys are just kind of floating around right now. I'm not entirely sure what to do with them, and to, to be perfectly honest, I'm not, I don't know, lately I just haven't been as invested in this series, I mean, I just disappeared for like two weeks, there wasn't a GM mode video coming out, I wanted to take a bit of a break from it, because I'm just, I don't know, it's, this is definitely going to be the last GM mode series I do on this channel, at least for quite some time, because uh, just at the moment, sparing the time for it, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not, not as interested in it uh and plus like i have done this is my fourth well i guess if you this would be the fourth completed series and we still have quite a ways to go but i did three complete playthroughs of this already over the years so i don't know i guess it's kind of lost its luster a bit i don't know whatever it is i'm just not i, I don't know because also a little disappointed that i haven't been getting as much as much progress on universe mode out and even though I've said in the past, this doesn't take much time away from that. It's just, it takes, you know, however long a recording session is. So, like, the time to record the episode. Editing is really simple compared to what I do for the other projects, but I don't know. Let's take a look at this week's match card, which I already set up. Carlito and Chris Masters, we're going to put them together. They're going to be a tag team. They're going to take on William Regal and Finley, the King's Court. We're going to have a matchup there, because right now... Right now, I want to have the Hardy Boys go after Crime Time next, so if they get a win here, that'd be good. We have Kali ringside, just because Kali is, like, that rivalry's not dead yet, so I need the ratings to carry over. So, I'm just having him there. But, I wa these two teams are probably going to be waiting in the wings next. The Hardy Boys, honestly, they've had plenty of opportunity, or, er, they've been around for a while, the Hardy Boys. I've maybe not had plenty of opportunities, but they have been around... Had a couple of cracks at the tag titles, uh, so if that falls through, we do have a backup plan right here, perhaps. Uh, of course, then there's also the thing with Booker and MVP going on, so the King's Court might be uh, might be needed there. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Then Johnny Nitro defending the United States Championship against Kane in a a rematch. Well, Kane used his rematch clause since he lost the title at No Mercy, so Nitro's going to defend there. MVP versus CM Punk with Kane Booker, because I didn't really have much else for Punk to do, and that rivalry needs to get back up and running. And then the main event, Umaga's going to wait a little bit to use that number one contender's clause. What I was thinking, give it two weeks. On the 25th of October, we'll have the title match, but what's going to happen here? Umaga wants Edge to be at his best. Umaga, if he's going to fight Edge and beat Edge and take his world title, he wants Edge to be in the best shape of his life. So he's got two weeks to prepare. Uh, this week, he's going to take on Sabu. Next week, I figured uh, we could have him face the great Kali, since Kalu isn't really doing much at the moment. Or perhaps 
Maybe we don't do that. Maybe Kalu faces one of these teams and Edge fights some other guy. Uh, this is what we're looking at right now. We'll go ahead and confirm the card. Simulate this opening matchup, and it's the King's Court who get the win over the team of Masters and Carlito. So a bit of uh, a misstep there for the debut of Carlito and Masters. I guess... Well, we can simulate this one, and it's CM Punk who gets a win back, gets the win over MVP, so evidently getting beaten down by Snitsky just sort of, you know, lit that fire under CM Punk, because, you know, he was able to beat Chavo, got his Cruiserweight title, able to snap the losing streak he was on, got out of that downward spiral, but getting humiliated by Snitsky, and now Snitsky's out of action, Punk is just waiting to, to tear Snitsky's head off. Somebody said, uh, I have the potential there for, like, a, a blood feud, because... You know, Punk got busted open, so I don't know. Maybe there's a, a climax there. Snitsky versus CM Punk in a first blood match. Maybe that'll come up. Snitsky's return, maybe that's how we'll do it. Uh, we got five weeks to go until he actually comes back, though. And let's see. I definitely want to... I'm doing this matchup, of course. And I kind of want to play the tag match, because that's kind of important that the Hardys win here. But actually, hmm, hmm. You know what? No, I'm going to simulate the Hardy Boys match. Because, I mean, the feud hasn't started yet. So if they lose, King's Court is right here. Basically an extension of this rivalry. So let's see what happens. Hardy Boys get the win, though. So that'll be interesting. Uh, I'll figure out how I want to work this in the future. So we've got Edge versus Sabu. And then, of course, the United States Championship match. So let's roll. This matchup for the United States Championship. Last Sunday at the No Mercy pay-per-view. Johnny Nitro, he came up with a big win. We were wondering if Nitro would ever have what it takes to step up into the big leagues, and he's uh, he's taken that first step. He did so inside the Elimination Chamber, capturing the United States Championship. So while he was not able to defeat the Samoan Bulldozer in a one-on-one -on -one matchup for the title, he was able to capture the United States Championship nonetheless. It just took a little more time than perhaps he was expecting. And I just realized because of how this stipulation works nitro's coming out first the champ came out first oh no entrances uh what entrances i don't i don't know what you're talking about this matchup is, is starting right now although i might just stop doing entrances save them only for pay-per-views because i'm just trying to think of potentially how what i could do with this series because as i said at the the start of the show losing perhaps losing some investment in this series and I, I don't really want to force myself to put these videos out, so I know I was doing two episodes a week there for a while. I might cut that back to one episode a week, or I'll try to maybe cut the episodes shorter so they are taking less time to put out. Because um, really, at this, at this point right now, I'm, I've been working on the, the other channel I have, which I've said before, and that's where I really want to put my time right now. But I, I don't want to give up on universe mode, mainly. So, I'm thinking I might try to start cutting back on these these side projects. The Pokemon stuff is not much of an issue, because that's been on... I did my all my recordings for that. Like, I, I think the last time I recorded a Pokemon session was sometime in winter. I've... I don't know, March maybe? I don't know. And I'm doing this... recording this in June because um, those I'll do in a, in a big session, and then those will last me, because I only do one, one a week, so those will last me, I don't know, the, the last two, because I had the huge goof up, it's lasted me a couple of months, so that content may continue, maybe not, it's all about whether or not I can find the time to make it, um, but even if I do keep that type of content up, it's something like I record it once, and then it lasts me uh, a month or two, depending on how long of a recording it is, so that's not as much of an issue. With GM mode, Especially with this series, the episodes have been longer. And with this series, I wanted to experiment. I wanted to do something a little more with it. And it worked for a time. I did like the format of having the longer episodes. But right now, I just can't really spare the time for it. So it's either... Oh, wow. Nitro missed that leg drop there. It's either I, I cut back to, to one a week and still do the 40 minutes. Or I, you know, still do the two a week have them shorter, so instead of doing, like, one match, I'll do... Or instead of doing two matches, I'll just do one match. Um, definitely gonna stop doing entrances, though, because I just want to shorten the time it takes to put these episodes out. Or I just do both. I make shorter episodes and only put them out once a week. 
Um, any anything that I'll, I'll do to just free up more time to work on universe mode or just get you know get projects out with better timing you know all, all across the board on this channel and the other channel just in general and yeah definitely losing interest in GM mode is not gonna help as I said I don't want to I don't want to force myself to put these videos out because if I do that then obviously they're not gonna be as, as fun to watch if I'm not having fun making them then uh, people aren't gonna have much fun watching them I don't think so I feel like the the dip would be noticeable like if I'm not if I'm not making these videos and having fun making them then I think that's gonna that's gonna show in the content as Kane just wants to keep tossing Johnny Nitro outside of the ring but of course Kane cannot win the United States Championship via a count out that is the champion's advantage that Johnny Nitro is working with as Nitro ducks back in the ring and now it's Kane who's on the outside and Johnny Nitro of course taking some time to pose for the fans try to get under Kane's skin perhaps as Kane back inside the ring but he nearly gets his head kicked off by Johnny Nitro who now off the ropes oh went for a springboard but he didn't really connect it Kane able to sidestep it and now oh the, the high flying Johnny Nitro gets taken down by a massive blow to the back by Kane and of course Kane's got the power advantage in this kind of a situation Nitro well now Nitro's caught in a Boston Crab that's not not a position where he wants to be Nitro he he's gonna do better if he can fly around the ring if he can quicken the pace but if Kane keeps him grounded like that well that's certainly gonna slow down Nitro's momentum that's not gonna do Nitro any favors well Nitro throws up another pose but that again uh that arrogance of Nitro's might come back to bite him in the end as there's a knee lift to Kane, but Kane able to shrug him off. So Nitro's going to try a different approach. He's got him up on his shoulders here. Got him up in the fireman's carry position. Where's Nitro going to take him? Oh, he's going to take him nowhere because Kane's going to drop him with a DDT. Oh, and he's going to go for it again. Kane, back to that Boston Crab, continues to keep the pressure on that lower back of Johnny Nitro. But this time, Johnny Nitro is quickly able to able to block it, not really allow Kane to cinch it in completely in the first place. And now, oh, from behind, reverse DDT. Johnny Nitro takes Kane down with a reverse DDT. And now Nitro off the top rope. Nitro looking to fly high, but oh, no. Went for the diving corkscrew moonsault. But Kane got the knees up straight into the midsection, the rib cage. That'll take the air out of Johnny Nitro. That'll take the wind out of his sails for certain. Oh! Now a DDT once again. A running DDT by Kane. Building up a full head of steam for that one as now Nitro's in a really tough predicament right now. But Nitro's able to escape it. Johnny Nitro, no! Another counter by Kane. And Nitro, oh, he's going to get caught in another submission hold here. But this time it's, luckily for Nitro, rope break going to save him. Oh, and he's able to duck behind Kane again and take him down with a reverse DDT, and now the springboard leg drop, that one connected. Oh, and Johnny Nitro, this could be his, no! I thought that was gonna be his chance, but Kane knew what was coming, able to avoid that standing shooting star press, the same move that Nitro used inside the Elimination Chamber to capture the United States Championship. I think it came down to him and King Booker in the end. Either way, Nitro, that was the move that won him the US title. And he was looking to try to retain the title with the same move here tonight. Kane, though, trying to trying to keep Nitro at bay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kane's got him in his clutches, and he's got him up across that apron. Oh, man. Vicious chop. Oh, whoa. Nitro, look at Nitro, though, able to catch the hand of Kane. And Nitro, oh, man. Just bounced his hand off the apron. And Nitro, oh, my God. He just... Not exactly what he had in mind. But Nitro looking to use some of those fleek... I, I can't even... Frequent flyer miles. I was trying to make a joke. It didn't work. Oh, oh, Kane getting a piece of John Cena. John Cena getting a piece of the action here. And is that distraction going to come back to cost Johnny Nitro? Well, Kane, though. Kane, now he might have missed his chance. Might have blew his opportunity. Nitro went for the backslide, but Kane was able to... Well, those long legs of his, able to reach out to the ropes and force a rope break. So Kane still hanging in this matchup. But for how long... How much longer is he going to be able to survive? No one knows. This matchup has been going for quite some time, getting into his later stages. There's Kane now, another DDT. Nitro won't be able to take too many more of those. 
and expect to stay in this thing. Oh, there's a nice counter by Nitro. Oh, but Kane counters right back. Oh, and a clothesline. What a clothesline. Nitro just got hit by a freight train in the form of Kane. And now Kane off the devastating uppercut. Nitro trying to shrug him off. Oh, but he's not going to be able to do so. Kane got him up on his shoulders, and there's the strength, the power of Kane. Driving Nitro into the canvas with that power slam, and this is this is not going to be good for Nitro. Kane's got him at the center of the ring. Kane's got Nitro at the center of the ring. Thought he might be trying to set him up for something, but Nitro able to shrug him off. Nitro creating separation. Oh, but he missed the kick. Went for a kick, but missed. But Kane able to block. Kane able to block. Nitro was able to block, but Kane blocks right back. Oh, look at this. Schoolboy. Schoolboy. Nitro's in trouble. Nitro's in trouble, but a kick out at one. Kick out at, kick out at one by Johnny Nitro. Oh, as he walks right into an uppercut. Ran right into that uppercut by Kane. And now Kane whips him into the corner. Nitro's in dire straits. A very quick exchange there from those two men. Oh, wait. Nitro able to block. Able to block the attempted strike from Kane. And now over the back. Over the back. He's got him. Stacked on his shoulders. Kane's... Kane, no. Able to kick out at one. Very close call there for the big red machine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kane going on a rampage. Johnny Nitro, he's going to have to get out of there. But does he have enough in him? Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Nitro, he's caught right now. Kane on a rampage. And now just left and... Oh, no, wait. Left and right hand punches by Kane. But Nitro able to shrug him off. And now Nitro going to take the... Going to do the smart thing. Duck outside the ring. And now again, they have swapped spots. Nitro on the inside. Oh, look at this. No! He took a risk again, and it did not pay off. He went for the springboard shooting star to the outside. But it didn't happen. Kane able to sidestep it, but this time Nitro able to take him out with that neck breaker. Wait a minute, what's Nitro doing? Nitro is uncovering the announce table. Well, I don't think he's going to be able to... Whatever plan he was cooking up, he's not going to be able to use it. Because Kane was able to get back inside the ring. Referee up to a count of six. And Nitro, oh, 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 no. Nitro was trying to be cheeky, but he got caught. Caught by Kane. Wait a minute. No. Kane ducked. Nitro caught the boot. Another neck breaker by Nitro. Nitro and Kane. These two men are spent. They are exhausted. But Johnny Nitro able to connect with the elbow drop off the top rope. And now, wait a minute, Kane's stuck. Kane in a bad way, and a cover. No, a rope break. Nitro hit him with the standing shooting star press. Kane was at the ropes. Nitro just didn't have the strength to get him away from the ropes, and there he tried for it, tried to get him for a better position for a pin. But he took too long. Kane is still in this thing. And Johnny Nitro, I mean, his chances of retaining the United States Championship, they are, I mean, they're hanging on by a thread. But Johnny Nitro, float over neck breaker, able to drop Kane, drop him back down, but he can't capitalize. Nitro, the damage to his ribs is too severe. He tried to go for another, tried to go for another shooting star press, but Kane able to block. And they continue to go back and forth, counter after counter. What's it going to take to end this? Oh no, full Nelson slam by Kane. But now it's Kane who's unable to capitalize as he staggered off the damage to his head. He's groggy, might have a concussion. Wait, Nitro though, able to strike back. There's Nitro now, no. Nitro though, he's trying to strike. Kane, his kick got caught. Counter again. I mean, these two men, this is an all out war right now, but who's gonna walk away with the United States Championship? Nitro takes Kane to the top rope. Look at this, Hurricanrana, or Frankensteiner off the top rope. Is that going to be enough? Nitro, down into the cover. One, two, three, and Nitro miraculously manages to retain the United States Championship. What a battle. Kane gave it all he had, and then some. But even then, John and Nitro just managed to hang in there. Somehow managed to get Kane up to that top rope. Drop him with that Frankensteiner, that avalanche frankensteiner and finally the big red machine stayed down so kane his opportunity at the united states championship well he's gonna have to move to the back of the line now but johnny nitro he will continue his reign will continue 
And you know, that matchup went on longer than I thought it would. So I'm gonna simulate this matchup. We'll see if Edge can get the, Edge does get the win. He's able to de defeat Sabu, so there we go. Yeah, I said about trying to make these episodes shorter, so we got our one match in. It was a pretty good match. It ended up getting a three and a half stars, so that's nice. Wow, four star, but I guess with the, the rivalry at play, that is to be expected. Three and a half star and a four star main event. So yeah, pretty good show. Three and a half stars. Able to hang in there with ECW, which is good. And then Monday Night Raw is going to lose out in the ratings this week. So let's take a look. Fan support. Yeah, we certainly weren't able to carry a tremendous amount of momentum off the pay-per-view, but I still think, yeah, we did we did move up a bit from where we were the week prior, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's showing. So we're hanging in there. We're still pretty far behind, but actually, wait, let me go to the... I could have figured this out on WWE.com. Well, uh, let's see. Fan change, Raw, lost 190,000. That's really all I need to see, I guess. Oh, wait, before we before we look at that, well, I guess we already did, but before we go back to it, yeah, this is done. Which it was supposed to be. I d didn't have any plans for anything with that rivalry beyond that. Survivor Series is coming up. This world title rivalry probably will not last till Survivor Series, because, I mean, there's the, the big match taking place one of these two weeks, and that'll kind of be it. And then I'll have to come up with something else. But what is left here? I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do with... Because, like, there's going to be the thing with Crime Time there, which might be with the Hardy Boy. Actually, wait, that's right, because JTG is a face. Oh, and they're, they're both heels. So I'd have to turn them face. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'll come up with something yet. We still still could do something with the Hardy Boys and uh, these guys. Uh, King's Court can still do something with them next week. Yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna set up any more rivalries for right now because I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them. But yeah, all the morale should be reset. Somehow Snitsky is. Um. I don't know how that works. You're you're out of action. Is that a, is that a glitch? Is that because I messed with the morale that now we've got someone who shouldn't have morale issues but now does? Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But let's swing over to the power twenty-five now. Edge dropped from the number one spot probably because he lost to Umaga. So. After all that time, at the top of the Power 25, we lost it. That's a shame, but it was bound to happen sooner or later. Can only keep a guy on a winning streak for so long. So Booker at 7, Nitro all the way up to number 10. That's a big jump. Wait, he's in world title contention if that's the case. Hmm. Interesting to note. So CM Punk's at 12, then we got Crime Time. John Cena all the way down at 19. Kyle Lou at 20. MVP at 21, and that's all we got on on the list. But yeah, Nitro's number four, so yeah, he's absolutely in world title contention. He's up there with CM Punk. Yeah, okay, we finally got John Cena out of world title contention. That's the, the most noteworthy thing. Huh, so that's that's good to see. That's, that's refreshing. And Kalu, they certainly fell out of the, the top five as well. MVP's way down there, way down there. And yeah, all of our teams are getting together now. So we got we got Carlito and Masters. They're now a faction. We got Finley and Regal. So yeah, that puts everybody on our power 15. We even got one space to spare. So I don't know if I ever break up one of these teams, then we have the we can afford the space for them. So that means we got what one, two, three, four, five. So we got five teams on the roster right now. Hmm. Well, there's potentially a lot I could do for tag team matches in the next episode, because Kalu could maybe do something. We're definitely gonna have Finley and Regal against the Hardy Boys, I think. Crime time. Eh, they'll go somewhere. They'll go somewhere probably. Hmm. Well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out for next time. 
Is there anything else I wanted to check? I looked at rivalries. Yeah, I think I, I think I covered everything. Oh wait, finances. Let's see how we're doing. Are we at a net? Mm, okay, we're barely at a net positive. How is our merchandise doing? That was up here. Not quite as much as an advertising promo yet. We'll keep working on that. But that'll do it for this edition of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. I will catch you all in the next one. As always, leave your suggestions for, for stuff, ideas in the future. And I'll see you next time.